Virtual reality is about to make a big splash. The highly touted HTC Vive and Oculus Rift virtual reality headsets both will hit the market within the next month. But whether virtual reality or VR lives up to its promise will also hinge on the quality of its applications, many developed by startups. Mark New reports from Silicon Valley. Two years ago, San Francisco venture capital firm Rothenberg Ventures decided that in order to better understand virtual reality, it needed to build its very own VR studio and launch the first startup accelerator exclusively for VR companies, River. I've shown VR to people for the first time more than a thousand times. I've never seen anything like it, people's reactions. I would even show it to people at airports or restaurants. And, and people would be so amazed when they came out of it that they would make other people try it. And I've never seen anything like that. Across town in Silicon Valley, Boost Accelerator has 15 startups working on virtual reality. John Voorhees is building software that will allow teams of programmers to literally go inside their computer code to collaborate in a virtual world. He draws inspiration from sci-fi movies like Tron. It's really powerful when you can actually do the thing that somebody's been imagining in their head their whole life, but they're actually seeing it out in front of their face. And also at the Boost Accelerator, Sculptor VR is taking the Minecraft concept to a whole new level. Strap on the headset, pick up the controllers, and you can create your own virtual world. Inside this vast world, I can pick up objects with great precision. I can climb an enormous tree and then feel genuine anxiety. If I step there, I think I'm going to fall down, but I'm going to give it a try. <laughs> okay. So that whole world with trees inside trees inside trees, that's all 451 kilobytes. That's about the size of like one image that you download online. And so when you let multiple people share an environment in VR, they really feel like they're there with the other person. Next door, startup realities.io uses real photos to generate virtual travel destinations. You can teleport yourself by using your controller. When asked if virtual reality will lead to people becoming hermits, he focuses on the opposite. Essentially, there are lots of people out there who can't really go out of their chairs. So there's, there's old people who can't, who can't travel to other places. There's people that just don't have the finances. We enable them to go to these places and see them once in their lifetime. Back at Rothenberg Ventures, new team member Drew Olenoff went through cancer treatments for Hodgkin's lymphoma. While hospitalized, he was sent a VR headset from Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg. First thing I saw, and you are sitting in a boat, and you use your head to steer the boat. Bird flies by your face. There's ambient sound. And, you know, I took it off and I thought, he got me out of the hospital room, <laughs> taking you from where you are to somewhere else. And if only for a minute, if only for a minute, um, it took me out of my hospital room, it was worth it. That spurred Olenoff to take up a job where he could help pass on similar experiences to those in need of an escape from reality. Mark New, CCTV, San Francisco.